Hey there, it's Pop Boss and nice of you to join me for a brand new episode with Foundation. We have a little bit of a monastery, we have a little bit of a fortress, we have oh, quite a town, I'd say. So it's time to uh, keep growing, I guess, and, and keep developing and doing more and more and more as we are busy with that by creating the cheese maker, for instance. We should already be getting some milk in. And yeah, we already have 24 milk. So having two cheese makers soon will really help out. Uh, problem is we have no villagers available and we have quite a few jobs available. Although these novice jobs we have to be aware of because that's for the monastery. So that means that uh, we can't fill those with just normal people. We'll have to make them monks or nuns first. But other than that, I think we have a nice cool looking town. It's just waiting for some newcomers now. I'm scanning the horizon. There they come. All right, that's good. Food-wise, I think we're fine. Uh, we're getting some extra berries. We're missing some raw materials. But that should all be fixed at some point. We don't have so much wood anymore. But that's mainly because, of course, all the woodcutters have to walk further and further to actually get to the wood. So what we could do soon enough is to start telling them that the ones that are close to the uh, area right here can just chop this now. That should be fine. And then the others should go for the further away forests and maybe get just another forester. We have one in here, but we have not set this to be a forested area. That was kind of stupid. Now he can actually go get that, so that's good. We've cleared all the forests here, so that's no longer an issue. That is all fine. This also gives me time to work on the residential areas at some point. And I think we should get rid of this one and build a new one for that. Somewhere more here. So that it can get rid of all the forests, all the trees. So let's just tell it to go right over there. And speed it up. And as soon as it's done, we'll destroy this one and it should be fine. But for now, we get three newcomers. And I believe for the cheesemaker, we have to promote them to commoners. At least two. So here we go. We go to our new people. And we promote two of them. And then we tell them to go to work in the cheese maker. Then we also need some market tenders still. So put people in there. And this will keep us busy for a little bit. Just to place people in the right positions. So I guess with immigration we should now just aim for getting extra people. Now it says employment is average. Uh, but everybody has a job, so I don't know why. It should say hi, I guess, and we should get more immigrants. But um, apparently not right now. It's okay. I mean, we're not going to be bothered with it, but it is what it is. Right, that's in progress. I do want some extra wood in here, though, because we really have not a lot of wood. So I'm just going to tell them to start chopping trees right here. And when they do, we should see an influx in trees. And then when this one is ready, and now this one can get a lot of trees closed, that should really help us out by dealing with the trees. Now this one is also one that should be able to uh, go someplace else. And now here we have a lot of trees too, so I'm going to place that one right there. Let's get rid of those trees. And of course you all know that in real life I'm a true tree lover and I love some trees in town and stuff. But in this game they just block my view, I don't know where to look, I don't know where to build when the trees are in the way, so... I'll get them out. <laughs> it's just in this game, don't worry. I'm not going to the forest to chop them down in real life. I wouldn't do that. Although, yeah, I do own an axe, so I could do that. But uh, I'm not going to do that. All right, there we are. We still make a bit of money. A lumber camp build. Great, let's pause. Let's destroy this one. And there we go. And then we should see the workers get in here. I like to keep my eyes on it to make sure they do. As well as, yeah, we get two new villagers, or maybe even three. Maybe there's two here. Can't really see, but uh, uh, they really appear to be just two. But that's okay. Oh, we have three unemployed villagers. How's that? Who are unemployed? No, nobody's unemployed. Oh, those are the three that were in the uh, woodcutter, of course. My mistake. I should have known that. Well, one of them found the way to the... <laughs> woodcutter camp so that's good i think what we should do now is expand this there's people working here that can't have a house now 
And I think with this extra zoning, they actually can have a house there. And that will be to our benefit. And then... There were a few people complaining about housing earlier on. I don't see them anymore, but I think that should fix the problem. Three woodcutters in there now. That's great. Now, it could be very tempting to uh, build the next... As soon as the next woodcutter is done, to immediately destroy that building. But we're going to get some new immigrants now. And we're going to give them a job first before we do that. As to not make mistakes and let all the experience that some of the woodcutters have go to waste. That's not what we want. So there they come. Yes, you are both most welcome. Let's start with another market tender and a farmer. I want as many farmers as possible because then they can work more efficiently on the farms. Bailiff has found some marble. That's great. It's quite far away from town, but hey, we'll be fine. He's now going to do another prospecting mission. We're just going to send him out on prospecting missions for now. Another lumber camp built. That's great news. That means that uh, this one can go now. Yes, you can go. Now, we were down to like 77 trees. And now that we've assigned this area so that they can actually chop trees here. But also, these two can now chop a lot of trees here. We can see it run up. It's now uh, down to 86. But that's because quite a lot is in transit. 31. Um... And as soon as that's delivered here, we'll see that we get actually an increase in trees. So uh, that should be good. 12 in here, 13 in there. So we have okay numbers of wood now. It's, it's starting to grow slowly. There's a lot in transit though. But that's all fine. We can deliver it anywhere. And, oh, this island is now emptied out of trees too, because I think those two will just remain there. Um, you can see already that they're not going to chop them. So we have another... <clears throat> sorry. We have another place where we can get rid of the forester and put him in another position. Uh, and I'm actually going to do that. Now we have hunters and stuff here, so that's not ideal. And there's already one there. What we could do is buy this zone... And start doing the same thing in here. So let's build a woodcutter camp. Build. Uh, now I must not forget to assign this to be chopped. <laughs> that has been the problem a couple of times now. So let's make sure we don't make that mistake again. And then once the um, woodcutter is done. We'll delete the one near the monastery. And we have fixed another problem. We have two newcomers there. Which is great. As long as these are all, yeah, these are all working there now. So that works. All right, we got some iron. And I think we have good iron, but I want more. And this also provides extra jobs soon enough. And um, I just think we can't have enough jobs anyway. So let's just keep going with improving these sites. So that we build as many jobs as possible. Get as many much iron as possible. We have good numbers of tools now. That's great. I love that. And from that on we can just see how things will develop. But the more stuff we have the better. It's also time to take a look at our soldiers. And we see we have one, two, three, four, five fully trained soldiers that can go on a mission. Ah, uh, noble escort. We'll do the easy one with these soldiers I guess. So let's prepare the troops. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, success probability is high. Then I'm going to add one or two. I'm going to add this one. And yeah, now it's extreme. All right, seven soldiers go out on a mission. Lumber camp built. That's great. Um, that's good. I think the newcomers are there. Yes. Now we're going to give those a job first. One. Uh, two, three. We're going to get some extra foragers. Now we're out of people again. And that means that this is the moment that we're going to get to this point. Destroy this one. And they can now go to the other place. That's the right way to do it. At least for me. That's how I want to do it. Let's unlock some extra decos. Always good. Now we're almost out of coins. But um, I'm not too worried about that. Now we have a nice uh, monastery. We have the monastery, but we have to build a monastic scriptorum. Because that is where they make those books that we need. 
Um, and we're going to get to that now. Because I want people to work in that scriptorum. Copyist capacity is six. I want to see if there's a building that has more. I don't think so, but uh, if there is, then we're going to use that. Nine. All right. That's great. Room capacity, ten. Copyist, six. Seven. Nine. It is also a big building, but I think uh, the copyist is a very important uh, job in the monastery. Let's build this and then get a lot of copyists to make sure that we get a lot of those books because we need them to promote our monks to get higher jobs. We also need that to be sure that we can get like the um, kitchen in the uh, monastery and stuff and to uh, get guests in that will bring us money. So those things are needed at some point. We'll just have to be a bit patient before we can get it. But we'll see. It, um, it should be really interesting. So... Um I think we just have to build a second monastery at some point. Not right now, but at some point we'll have to do that. To make sure that we uh, get all the different buildings and stuff. But I think it will be working well if we build a monastery somewhere close to town. Where we um, can make sure that the um, guests and stuff can always go into town as well. I see we have a housing insufficiency. Oh, but that's for the guys working all the way out here because we have nothing there for them. Oh, these woodcutters also cut all the trees that we assigned them to. And for the rest, we have hunters here, I believe. Oh, we have hunters here, but they end here. So we can tell them that they can start to chop trees right here. That's okay. What are you? Also a hunter. Oh, that's an issue. Um... Uh, all right, let's tell this guy to start hunting here then. We'll get rid of the blue this way. And then we'll reassign it. Somewhat like this. Yes, this is good. Let's go like this. Yes, perfect. Uh, and then we'll tell our um, forester that he can start to chop trees here. Maybe we can build another part of town here at some point. Who knows? At least now the uh, this guy can go over there to chop a few trees. Still not very efficient, but I'm not going to move all the buildings right now. All right, so we have one cheesemaker up and running. One still has to do more work. Uh, I don't think we have people. Yeah, we have people in the granary here. There's a lot of milk there too. So why aren't these doing anything? Waiting for workers. We assigned them already. Where are they? Why are they not working? Oh, he's a cheese. Oh, yeah, he got milk now, and now they're making cheese. Very good. So we have cheese. We have two newcomers. I think I'm going to promote those two uh, as well, so that we can put them in the other cheese maker, so that we can make some serious cheese, because we already have a lot of milk. So let's go on with that. And I'm going to assign this one to do milk as well, so that we can have more milk. I think these are all... Yep, yeah, these are all stocked with milk, so having some extra milk will be good. And maybe if we just seek out which things we have plenty of and which we don't, we can get an extra granary near some of the markets to house some of the other stuff that we need. Like extra cheese space or something like that. So here we have one completely dedicated to fish, which is good. Here we have one that supplies all the goodies to both of the marketplaces, I think. But maybe we should just build an extra one here that can house different things. Or just use one of these slots for the cheese as well. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that should work. Then we have one here. Now we'll leave it as it is for now. The cheese is close to here anyway with this granary. So that should be fine. There's a lot of milk in here. So hopefully these can keep up. And otherwise we'll build extra cheese makers. Never have a problem with that. Um, our soldiers are on a mission. Our bailiff is on a mission. Busy. Yeah, we're getting extra wood in now. I think they're building the mine site. Yep. We can get into gold mining soon. Um, or already. I just don't know. Yeah, I don't think we can make anything with it. So we'll have to uh, unlock some certain things to get into the gold, I guess. 
jewelry, the gold smelter. Yes. Okay, so we're not there yet. 300 prosperity, but we're at 277. So we're getting close. Oh, and we can unlock the cloister. Always a nice building. We can get a privilege here. If a military mission is ongoing, taxation accumulation speed is increased by 50%. That's nice. That means that we get extra taxes now that we have a mission going on. I like that. What does these do? Extra trade. Clergy buildings upkeep reduced by 10%. Food needs satisfaction for monastics last 50% longer. Oh, I want that. That means that if we have monks and they require food, uh, that it will last 50% longer. So they will use a lot less food. And that is excellent. I want that. I also want a bigger fort, of course, at some point. Maybe that point is right now. Because we have a nice fortress, but it can be bigger. And this will also help to grow these uh, splendor points with the... Um, with the uh, laborers and that will be very helpful to us so i think i'm going to expand the fortress now i have to find yeah we're gonna do it like this um should it go like this or like that yeah it should go like this make it slightly higher then we put up the uh military tower like one i like that all right let's build this this is cool two newcomers three newcomers wow very good I hope there's a lady amongst them, because we still need one extra in the monastery. Six, six, and now we have six herbalists and six foragers. That'll be great. Yes, I like that. Um, we might also need an extra granary to start storing herbs. A good thing is you can always check if it goes in there. So yes, herbs go into the granary, so we can do that. Um, but herbs are also used by the monastery, I believe, for monastic meals. So we can also leave it in there for a bit. The problem is, if it's not in a granary, we can't trade it. And if we go to the trade screens, we check the trade routes, we can see that we can sell um, herbs to Northbury. And to the Kingston Abbey, if we get to it. So that can be very helpful. So I think I want to get a granary with herbs. So that in case we get to a point where we can actually use it. We're going to completely fill it up with that. All right, let's see. We need foragers. Two extra. There we go. Ah, mine side's done. At least one. That's good. Our military had a success. We now have some jewelry. We got some coins. We can now unlock cleaning duty. Great. Another thing unlocked. I always like it when I can unlock things. That's so amazing. So that's great. Let's keep our eyes open for other things, but I love it. Right, this manor house does not generate any points. And I believe... Do we have a... Um, are we collecting taxes in this area too? This one is completely filled, so we're not really collecting taxes out there. And if we go to our manor house... Can we already get the stone variant of that? Because that I would love. Let's get the tax office. Ah, we can't get the stone variants yet. That's a bomber. What do we need to get that? Ah, we need to get a little bit more splendor with them. Or quite a bit, actually. But maybe we can start with that by doing this and then add a tax office. And find buildings that actually add splendor to it. So this just generates upkeep. This generates some splendor. That one doesn't. So not a lot generates splendor, actually. Oh, and decorations generate splendor. So what we can do is, for instance, build this one. We'll put a tower next to it. So this is going to be the tax collector's office. Then we build a chimney there. See, now we can see that we get six extra splendor already. Then if we start to decorate this up a bit... Uh, I don't know if I want to put that on there, but uh, a wooden shed. We can get a wooden shed along with it. Uh, oh, and the building needs a door, of course. That's eh, That can be interesting to get a door. Might be helpful. Yep, stable fence. Now we're at eight. Let's 
put up some barrels in front of it. All right, there we go. We'll get in extra taxes and we might get to the point where we can unlock the stone building, which I love very much to get. That's That just looks awesome. We also got four new people in, so that's one, two, three, four. I'm not going to let them work in the mine. They can do that soon enough, but not straight away. Sometimes you have to be a little bit patient with that. And then let's see... Well, ah, yeah, they kind of built this granary. And are they already bringing resources here or are they not really busy with this? Oh, they already brought, brought quite a few planks. We can see that the wood is now really accumulated again. So moving those really worked. The scriptorum is going to get built. I love it. Great. All right, so soon enough, or maybe right now, we can tell them to no longer chop trees here. Then they have to do a little bit further walking. But for now, that's fine. They can do that. That's okay. And there's still plenty of trees out here to be chopped anyway. They can just do that. And then if we see the amount of... Uh, of wood that we have drop again, we can get rid of it. But now, I just love the fact that we're clearing out so many trees and doing a great job there. That's so helpful. How is this guy doing? Oh, also clearing some trees here. Great. Okay, so things are working out. 262 people. Getting some coins here and there. We have already have everything, so we need to get to a higher level with 20 splendor or rating. Um, here we also need to get to 20 to get the weapon smith, but we're not going to really use that. And this is already at the right level. We just need to unlock these two. But that's 10 and 15 coins. That's together a lot of coins. Ah, I missed. Oh, no, we didn't miss that they completed the mission. I just check it now. Okay, here we go. Very easy train operator. Oh, we can get spears. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. There they go. Success probability extreme. Well, there they go on their way. And hopefully we can get a couple of spears. I don't think we have any yet. We can check though. No, we have no spears. But these are partly trained. These are mostly trained, fully trained, partly trained. So they need to do a bit of training. But then we'll get there. And the better they are trained, the more good stuff they can do. Now the thing is, I also want more soldiers at some point. But a lot of these things just take time. Ah, cool. So the fortress gets built. And then at some point, we'll be adding extra soldiers. The scriptorum gets built. And then at some point, um, we'll add um, more monks so that they can work there. I do believe they need the higher tier monks, but I'm not 100% sure. No, I don't think so, because we need books to upgrade them. So it can't be that. They have all the resources, so it's just a matter of uh, building it. They're just waiting for a builder. We have a couple of projects going on. This one here. Uh, I actually don't know what else we have in store. We're probably building somewhere. Oh, here too. Yeah. Oh, a very big manor house. I eh, forgot about that. That's how easily you can, can, can get confused if you don't uh, have your things straight and give it your full attention. I am, of course, giving it my full attention. It's just hard sometimes. All right, let's start getting some iron there. Courier is approaching the town. It can be good news. It can be bad news. What's it gonna be? Planks surplus for beer. Neighboring villagers want to trade a surplus of beer gifted by the monks that they are tending to. The folks are in desperate need of planks, which you have to see, which you seem to have in fair numbers. If we get some planks, we can get extra coins. But we can't use those coins yet. But we might be able to later. So yes, we'll prepare the resources. And what I'm going to do then is we have to get to the planks, of course. And then tell them to stockpile them. So that we get 175 in the stockpile. Then we can send them out and then it's done. And now they will be stockpiled. So that's great. This also gives me time to go over all the resources that we have and add those that are not yet on the screen here, like the herbs. I want to see how many herbs I have. Wine, jewelry, 
I want to see all resources that we have so that I know how many we have of those. So this is better. Another courier is coming in. Oh, wow. We get a lot of visitors. 144 still, but that should change up soon. I think we should also check if there's some stuff that we can still trade that we're not trading yet, like herbs. So let's put this all out above 100. But now at least we can start to sell them and make some money on it. Uh, we can also start to sell tools above 50 now. We'll have plenty. I like that. Let's make some extra money that way. There's the courier celebrating bread. There's plenty of bread in the granaries and the elders are thinking your village might be ready for a bread fair. All right, we'll do that. We get 10 coins. Oh, that's awesome. Let's try and get that. That will get us a lot of coins. And then once the um, manor house is done, let's prioritize this one. Oh, we can't complete it because of the planks that we're trying to store. Well, as soon as that is done, we are going to get the planks released because we want that building up and running. Yeah, these are busy, so that's good. There's another eight stored in here, so they should be able to bring those in. We already have 164, it says. We need 175, so they're getting there. And after that, we'll release all the planks. And then hopefully they can finish the uh, Manor Lord quickly. And we can go on with um, getting the extra splendor. Hopefully it's enough. And then we can unlock some more goodies. All right. In terms of berries, I think the numbers are running up. Meat is stable. Fish is stable. Bread fluctuating a bit. We might need even more farms now because we are already out of that again. Milk we have plenty of. So I guess we might get into an extra cheesemaker soon. And then the numbers of cheese will also run up. Clothing is stable, I think. So most things look, well, I think quite good, actually. Trading for the mystery tax. So we traded a little bit of money, so that's good. Um, did we get the notification that the mission is done? No, not yet. Okay. I also see no wounded yet, so that's a good sign too. Hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, we have the planks in store. Great. They're now traded away. Then we go here. Then we tell them to no longer stockpile them. A housing insufficiency. Yes, I know. That'll go on for a while. Four newcomers. Oh, we have to provide some jobs here. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. We've built the new granary. Let's assign a lot of herbs here so that they can store those. And I guess we can also assign it to beer so that all the beer that's in town gets stored somewhere. We have 125 beer somewhere. I just don't know where. So I guess it would be interesting. Maybe all in here or something? No, that's berry brew. Well, the beer must be somewhere. So getting it into a granary will probably be a good option. And yeah, we have so many coins now. We already have enough coins to unlock some things, but we don't have the rating for it. So kind of hoping that this will speed this up a lot. There's five planks incoming. They should be able to, to kind of build some structures already, I think. Ooh, what are you all? There's a bunch of people doing something. Oh, those are the visiting people for the bread fair. Ah. Oh, well, let's hope they're happy. Let's visit our scriptorum oh that is looking nice there's a builder assigned to it as well we can see monks and nuns running around so the next step will be with extra villagers and if we have no jobs for them anymore we'll put them in here they will still not have a job until the moment that we get the um actual um Scriptorum up, but hey, this one is building there now, so that's good. Somebody had no access to housing. I know that's probably somewhere here. I don't care. Iron deposits done. So we might be able to put some extra people to jaw to work there too. No, they already had everything. They just finished the decorations there. We get more newcomers. Yes, they're on their way. Perfect. 
Housing insufficiency. Yeah, that's for the people here. I know. Can't help you right now, but I know you don't have a house. It's just not going to change. Or maybe if we give them a house here, they will get a house here. And then they just have to walk to the market here. But at least they have a house. Maybe that works, actually. I don't know if there's actually a distance to whether they will still go to the market or that we have to build a new market or something like that. So that'll be interesting to know, actually. So we can try this out. I remember like two years ago in the state the game was in, I knew a lot of those things, but some of them actually completely changed. Like you could see the desirability of a housing area earlier on and that's skipped now because they overhauled that system. So some things I still have to find out every now and then after a big update because they uh, do some ma major changes every now and then. All right, we get 15% extra happiness for everybody. So happiness is up to 100. That's good for the immigration incentive. Great. Ah, the scriptorum is done. And we had followed the advice. Ah, we're good. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's see. Uh, we add two transporters. Then we have two people left. Let's start putting them in here. A male and a fee. Yeah, it was a boy and a girl. Great. So now we should get two copyists. Five out of the nine. Oh, some of these might also switch then. Yeah, two are finishing up and going to be a copyist. So we'll get a lot of copyists soon. Great. We have 14 people. There's 12 plus 9 is 21 jobs. So we can still add a couple of people to the monastery. That can actually only lift 20 people. So we'll have one that won't live there. Interesting. All right. We'll see how that goes. Housing insufficiency. Yeah, well then build these houses. Then the insufficiency is over. So that should be fine. Ooh, this is also coming along nicely. 28 planks inbound. Nice. My soldiers are not back yet. Hurry up, soldiers. Come back. You want some spears? Hopefully they got them. Never be sure. All right, I think what we can do now is put up at least some decorations in town right here so that these houses um, will feel a little more special. Okay, look, if we do it like this, you can see the area actually getting bigger and bigger in which they, they actually function and work. So just putting up some decorations in here will really make a difference. And you'll see different houses getting affected by it and, and starting to uh, to benefit from it. So that's great. So now all these houses have a beautified area. They just don't have a commoner living there. But as soon as they do... I don't, we don't need to do all houses. As soon as there's a commoner that lives in somewhere here, the house will start to upgrade. So that will be excellent. Waiting for a builder. It just needs one more tool. Then it's done. And then all structures can be built. And we can get the... Um, what's it called? Tax collector in there. Let's collect some extra taxes. Make sure that everybody pays them. They need to pay all. Alright. There's the fortress coming along. We have 10 soldiers. I think... What we should do is add some training dummies uh, into this. Uh, training grounds. What we could do is just add a second row. But we definitely need it because then all 10 soldiers can train at the same time. And that'll be very helpful in speeding up the training, getting them available for things. And if only five can train at one time, then it will take twice as long before they're all trained up. So getting that done is an important feat. All right, let's get these newcomers in, give them a job. A, uh, oh, these are only monastery jobs. Our soldiers are victorious and they're returning from a mission. I like it. Alright, we now have nine nuns. 
Eight monks, and most of the jobs are fulfilled. Great. We'll leave them to it. Now, this is also the time that it is well past half an hour. We have improved our town, but it's also time to put this episode to an end. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. And bye-bye.